Hey guys, so I'm bringing you hacks that I learned from zero to three months. My baby right now is three months old, so I want to show you some of the things that I learned. Yeah, let's get started. If you like this kind of video, don't forget to like and subscribe. It really would mean a lot to me if you did that. So number one is during the diaper changes. I learned this the hard way. Babies usually have blowouts and... I used to not use my pads for the diaper changes and even if I used them it was a mess everything would get in the pad and it was just horrible so what I do now is every time I want to change my baby I put another diaper underneath her butt even though she has one diaper I put the, the new one underneath and then I clean I take off the the old one I clean and everything and now I have the new one just in case something happens that she she wants to poop again or something i have the second diaper just as an emergency and also it's just easier to put back on and not be with her butt all over the place number two is showers so whenever i bathe the baby i was kind of scared at the beginning i had my husband here at home he was working from home but then he had to go back to the office and he was working out at the office and i would i had to bathe her by myself and after like the bathing part was easy but just getting her out of the tub and putting a towel under uh, like to wrap her and kind of like uh, dry her up it was kind of difficult what i learned to do is placing a the towel on the side that way i just grab her and i put her on the towel and make sure it's like on a surface that way she won't like fall or anything like that so you just put the baby on the surface with a towel and you just make her like a little burrito and you start drying her. I think that's the easiest thing to do. Yeah, place a towel somewhere safe. That way you can just grab the baby and put her on the towel. Number three is the burping. So my baby, when she was born, she had a lot of gas and I didn't know how to like take out all the gas. So what I learned to do now, it's let's say this is the baby. I put her on my lap and I start going like this with my with my knee like this that way her gas will come up also just seating her straight because you know how babies let's say this is her head <laughs> you know how babies usually are like laying down just put her straight up and start like um, doing that movement and all the gas is gonna come up number four it's breastfeeding uh, I have those um breastfeeding gowns things that you put on it it has like a hole on top you put it on you and that way nobody can see you breastfeeding so if you don't have that thing you can just grab a swaddle blanket this is just a random one that i have here and just put it on you can just put it like this but if, if you have a baby like i do that she moves a lot then she might kick this one off and then boom the whole purpose of the blanket it's out the window what you can do is get it and then get your bra and just make like a little nut there you go and then that way it won't move even if she kicks it out or anything like you'll be okay and you'll be safe and no one is gonna see what you're doing so this is a cool tip the little swaddle blanket number five it's kind of related to the breastfeeding i used to use a an app on my phone to track which uh, breast I would feed her on like I did it for like maybe the first month and a half or two months and then after that I would forget or I wouldn't have my phone with me or why not it was just more difficult to follow up with it so what I learned to do is just put a little rubber band on my hand on the breast that I feed so she just fit on this one so I have the ru rubber band on this one so next time she's gonna feed on this one so I'll just move it this one in. this is the one that keeps me on track that way i don't have to use a phone i don't have to be plugging in or anything like that this keeps me on check number six is for you mamas if you're worried about uh, your milk supply and if you don't have any those supplements to improve your milk supply what you can do is just buy a bunch of uh, snacks I love to snack I get hungry all the time so what I like to buy are those Velveeta bars and they're for, like made out of oatmeal and increases your milk supply so if you need 
like a fast alternative make sure you buy those or any kind of snack like little cookie that has oatmeal on it it's gonna help you with your milk supply so don't think that only the ones that say for breastfeeding are gonna help you like there's other things that can help you uh, increase your milk supply also eating just oatmeal in the morning uh, with some fruit in it that really helps too number seven it was something that i was kind of scared at the beginning and it goes back to the first or second one it's about bathing i didn't know how hot or warm or cold the water needed to be so a cool trick to make sure you have a nice temperature for your baby and you're not burning them or they're getting cold or anything like that is to check your temperature with your wrist not with your hand don't touch the water because that's really like this is I don't know for some reason you can't feel the real temperature with your hand so just make sure you put your wrist or this part like on the running water and just make sure it's kind of warm and it feels comfortable to your wrist so that's a cool trick number eight nail clipping so nail clipping can be really intimidating even more because they're so tiny I would recommend you to clip their nails when they're sleeping or when they're eating that way they're not moving even when they're eating i think they're calm and they're just eating right so you can just get grab their little hands and clip their nails that's what i do with my baby and it works all the time also if you want your baby to sleep and they won't sleep for some reason you can grab your baby and just pat on their butt so you can put them like this and pat on on their butt or you can just have them like this and just pat on their butt my husband did a research about this because for some reason the baby only slept with my husband and it was when he would do this like he would pat her butt and he did some research and it said that babies like to be like kind of pat on the butt because they feel the like it they're like in the womb and it's their mom's heartbeat since before they're gonna be born their butt it's like up here they can feel their heartbeat and that's why they like the palpitations on their butt so I thought that was super sweet and we do it all the time with my baby and she falls asleep right away. So I like that. And number 10 is if you don't know why your baby is crying, there's some things um, they would do so you can see that they need something. For example, if they're hungry, they're going to start putting their fist on their mouth and they're going to start licking their, their, their fist or they're going to do movements with their mouth or something. They're gonna go like this or like this if they go like that because they're hungry so just give them food if they start getting fuzzy and they start grabbing their eyes on, or they go like that <laughs> it's because they're, they're tired they're sleepy they want to go to sleep so just get to know your baby but those are two things that you can see right away whenever the baby needs something i didn't know this so when my baby was born she would do movements with her mouth and i didn't know she was hungry so and i would try to sleep her but she was telling me that she was hungry so just check those little signs that they're gonna give you either the mouth or the sleeping at the end of the day you're gonna get to know your baby more and eventually you're gonna know why they're sleeping why they're fuzzy or why they're crying so i hope these tips or little hacks help you if you know something that i don't make sure you put them in the comments down below i would love to read what you know and yeah i hope you have a blessed day also don't forget to follow me on instagram i'm gonna link it right here somewhere in the screen also subscribe and like this video so i hope you have a great day and god bless